When I was seven years old, the harbour was full of steam drifters, unloading herring. The fisher girls were here from Scotland, gutting the herring. It was fascinating to watch. By the time I was in my teens, that industry had almost gone. I've been volunteering here for just over a year now. It got into a bad way. It was more weeds than plants. It wasn't the beautiful place that I used to come to when I was young. People don't really grasp how important the area is around Lowestoft for wildlife. It's been under the radar. After the heron industry declined, everybody was worried that heritage would disappear forever. The Waveney Valley here in, in Suffolk has always been a really good place for wildlife. The project here is about getting people out onto the site as visitors. You know, so we've put in hides and structures and improved footpath networks. It means that they can really embrace and see the importance of where they live. The heritage of what happened in Great Yarmouth with the heron industry is extremely important and must never be lost. And we need to educate our children and our grandchildren exactly what happened. Attention. Thankfully, that is happening here in Great Yarmouth. When I was very little, my dad used to pedal all of us around that boating lake and there was magical lights under every bridge. It wasn't just the boats, it was walking through it, it was the smells, it was everything. It was a child's dream here. And it is again. And you've only got to ask my three children. <laughs> this has always been part of my life, farming and, and wildlife and to kind of put something back. I feel quite privileged to be in this position. Coming here helps me to remember really happy times with people that are no longer here. We have seen visitors come especially to see the waterways. People have been really captivated by it. We couldn't have brought this back without lottery funding, without lottery players, and lots of volunteers who passionately helped us restore the gardens. It's showing my children what Great Yarmouth had and what it's got. I love it.